So today we want to do an interactive session with you all and tell you a little bit about our family. It's your job to let us know whether you think we're telling the truth or whether it's a made up story or false. For those of you on Zoom, you can use your thumbs up, thumbs down button. For those of you in the audience, you can use your actual thumbs today. Chris, do you want to get us started? I'd love to. I'd like you to, <laughs> that's actually a lie because it says that Kelly's me and I'm Kelly. Um, what I'd like to do is we're going to play a little bit with the presentation. I thought pictures might help you actually see some of our family members, but we also need to see our Zoom members. So in a hybrid meeting, this is going to be quite interesting. Um, our first person in our family we'd like you to like to introduce you to. This is, again, um, a flashback to the 70s, to the simpler time. Um, I'd like to introduce you to our, our mom, Betty. As you know, she's online today. One of our mom's earliest jobs was working at on Treasure Island Naval Base in the San Francisco Bay Area. During her stint there, she was able to eat lunch with chimpanzees that were going to be going up in space. True or false? <laughs> Yeah, we've got some thumbs down. Um, Betty, are you there? Mom, do you want to unmute? Go ahead, Craig. She okay. Is that true or false? That's false. I work is it? For... Go ahead. It is false because I work at NASA with that monkey. You worked where, Mom? NASA. In Richmond, California. Oh, that's even more impressive. But did you get to eat lunch with chimpanzees? At NASA, I did, not at not at uh, Naval Station. <laughs> All right. Thank you for setting us straight, because Kelly and I have been telling the wrong story for about thirty-five years. <laughs> All right. So here's another Thanks, tip. Mom. Here's another tidbit about our lives. When I was in high school, I played for the water polo team. True or false? We're getting more thumbs up. How about how about in Zoom? Let's take a look. That's okay, Craig. Yeah, I think more people are in favor that Kelly really was on the water polo team, and that is true. She played water polo. My brother played water polo. I was feeling left out, so I tried out for the water polo team, but it turns out I'm a strong swimmer. Like, who knew? <laughs> I could not swim. I spent most of my tryout hanging onto the edge of the pool. And I don't know, spoiler alert, I didn't make the team. So nice job, you got that one right. Now we'd like to share a little something about our dad, Evan, whom we both venerate. Our dad is 83 years old. He was born in Oakland, California, the oldest of three kids. And these are the three kids, his siblings. Um, he's a distant relative of Franklin Roosevelt, the 32nd president of the United States. True or false? All right. I, I think we're getting more truths. Let's see on Zoom land here. That's nearly true. <laughs> Kind of like our mom's story. <laughs> He's actually the third cousin of the 31st president of the United States, Herbert Hoover. So my grandmother's name, his mom, was Hetty Claire Hoover. Now, President Hoover um, was credited with promoting more air travel and radio. Unfortunately, he was also credited with most of the Great Depression, so it wasn't a shining moment for our family. <laughs> but what is a shining moment for our family is our next topic, which is our brother, Jeff. Now, Jeff is one of those people that is full of energy. He has a lot of personality. He never shuts up, which actually suits him well in his profession because he needs to be very talkative and very friendly to people. Him and his family live in Colorado and they own a whitewater rafting company. True or false? Yeah, more people are giving us a thumbs down in the room at least. If that is false. It's true that he's gregarious, 
but it's false that he owns a whitewater rafting business in Colorado. In fact, I just realized I'm giving it away. He's got a State Farm shirt on in this picture. This picture <laughs> was taken just this week. He turned 60 just yesterday on May 10th. And those are his grandchildren and nieces and nephews. So that was, uh, that was nicely done. Those of you who said, who caught us on that lie. Um, we do have another sibling to tell you about our younger sister, Janelle. Now we, Kelly and I used to always do speeches about Janelle because she lives in California. She doesn't live here. So we could talk about her all we wanted to. <laughs> we did a lot of camping when we were growing up. And on one of our camping adventures, Janelle wandered into the woods and it was about a half an hour later before we rejoined her. Is that true or false? Yeah, look at her, don't you think? <laughs> that would be something she would do, but actually it is false. It happened to me. So we were camping in Yellowstone National Park and um, I think I was probably being very annoying to my mother because she told me to go off and look for Ranger Rick and I took her at her word. So I wandered off and um, they did find me in, not an outhouse, it was a bathroom, but my mom was not too pleased with me at that point. And she didn't ever do it again. Kelly never wandered off again. Yeah. All right, so let's talk more about camping and outhouses. We did camp a lot growing up. And on what adventure during our camping trip, our mom, Betty, dropped her glasses down the outhouse. True or false? She was younger then, and she still has her own teeth. That is a true story. And the, the fishermen, Jeff Burns, had to get their fishing poles out and fish for those glasses, and they were able to retrieve them. All right. um, we're going to skip our last story just because we're already out of time. We're having too much fun, but we hope that you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about our wonderful family. The one thing that is true, it is unique, and it, it is definitely special to us. Thank you. Thank you.